If you love coins, you're probably well aware that there's a new world record holder for the highest price ever paid for an individual rare coin. In case you missed it, a beautiful, historic 1794 dollar graded SP66 by PCGS was purchased for $7.85 million in a private sale last month. It's the finest known $1794, and several prominent experts believe it is the first silver dollar ever struck by the U.S. Mint. The coin was sold by Steve Contursi, president of Rare Coin Wholesalers, to the nonprofit Cardinal Collection Educational Foundation. The sale was brokered by Greg Roberts of Spectrum Group International. At last week's Long Beach Expo, we heard firsthand from three key figures in this unprecedented numismatic transaction. We spoke with Martin Logies, respected collector and numismatic researcher, who was a director and the numismatic curator for the Cardinal Collection Educational Foundation. We also found out what it was like to be on the selling end from Ken Shern and Michael Contursi of Rare Coin Wholesalers. We hope you enjoyed the insider's view of this incredible coin and its amazing journey. Uh, you also just purchased the 1794 silver dollar, which set a world record price, I believe, of seven. Point eight some million dollars. I mean, that's a huge seven point eight five million. Yes. Can you tell us more about that coin and the transaction? Sure, sure. It's it's an extraordinary coin, the single finest uh, known seventeen ninety four silver dollar. Uh, it's one that I've known about for many years. Uh, I mean, it's it's a famous famous coin. Uh, and as part of the work of the CCEF library, uh, and researching coins in general. Of course, I came upon that coin in the literature uh, and its various auction history. And it has always been labeled as you know, the finest of the finest. The $1794 uh, itself is a, is a very scarce, very rare issue. That was the first year that silver dollars were minted in the United States. Uh, only 1,758 coins were, were struck. Uh, the thought was that perhaps there would, would have been maybe as many as 2,000 made and the remainder just thrown back for melting or reused because they just didn't come out well enough, and leaving a net mintage of 1,758. Uh, so very rare. I estimate there's only about 140, maybe 150 left to exist, many of them in really, really dreadful condition. Uh, David Hall recently mentioned, you know, even if a truck drove over one, it'd still be worth a hundred grand. Uh, this being the single finest one. It had come from the, the, the Will Neal collection that was auctioned off by uh, uh, dealer auctioneer Max Mell in 1947. And it was acquired at that auction uh, by uh, Ammon Carter Sr., who built a phenomenal collection, and upon his passing, it passed to his son. And then that collection was sold at auction by Stacks in 1984. And that coin was certainly a highlight at the time. Uh, following that auction, the coin went through a few hands and then ultimately into a collection known as the Knoxville Collection, uh, which probably has, would be the single finest ever type collection of silver coins, US silver coins. Uh, but even beyond being a type collection, the guy who built that collection shows some of the scarcer items. Typically for a flowing hair silver dollar, the type coin would be dated 1795. But to spice it up, that collector got the 1794 date and actually got the single finest one. So uh, an historic collection. When it came time for that collector to sell his collection, uh, Steve Contursi, a dealer here at Long Beach, uh, who handles phenomenal rarities. Uh, he had the opportunity to acquire that collection and did. Uh, he saw that coin for the importance that it had and as a result he outbid all of the other suitors for the collection and acquired the collection and that became his personal treasure from that collection. The other pieces from the collection, those were part of his inventory for sale. This one was his personal prize, not available for sale in that I had researched $1,794 just as part of my own numismatic interest. Uh, prior to that, he invited me to take a look at the coin more closely, along with some other experts. And it was then that I could really see hands-on just how incredible it is. 
Uh, the American Numismatic Association talks about coins being history in your hands. Well, I actually had that in my hands, raw. I was present when, when PCGS cracked it out uh, so that we could examine it. We examined it raw, myself and a number of other experts. I held it in my hands. I, I held a loop in my hands looking at it. You know, ultra close, super power magnification. It is just in such spectacular condition. It is simply amazing. Uh, that, that occurred at the American Numismatic Association summer uh, show, the World's Fair of Money in 2004 in Pittsburgh. And then we did that again just last year in 2009 in Los Angeles. And it was a smaller group that cracked it out and took a look at it. And the viewing conditions were even superior. And the coin is just unbelievable. Um, I have heard some people say, well, you know, I look at it through the case, through the holder. It looks nice, but it's not great. Well, they didn't see it the way I had the opportunity to see it. Looking at it raw under the proper lighting, there's no question it's a, a special striking. It has amazing mirrored surfaces. It has more reflectivity than the finest deep mirror proof like Morgan Dollar I've ever seen. And it is a black and white cameo. It, and think about that. It was struck in 1794 under barbaric conditions where they used a hand-powered screw press to squeeze the metal to strike the image onto the coin. And yet this one is magnificently proof-like, struck in high relief uh, with pristine surfaces and black and white cameo contrast. Just incredible. So recognizing that importance and having you know, been in contact with Steve Contursi over the years with this, uh, and also mentioning every now and then, hey, would you ever consider selling it? Well, I guess I caught him at the right moment with the right offer, and he was willing to sell. First of all, I'd like to talk about the 1794 silver dollar. Uh, it just set a world record price, I believe, of $7.8 million. Can you tell us more about that sale? Actually, it was quite exciting for the company and obviously for the industry. Uh, the coin came from a very famous collection that our founder and uh, owner of the company, Steve Contorsi, purchased for quite a bit of money back, I think, in 2003, 2004 time frame. This silver dollar happened to be in there. Uh, he noticed something a little peculiar about the coin, and in further inspection, he realized he had something really special. Uh, Steve kept it to himself. He bought the collection, about a 40 to 50 coin collection, for quite a bit of money. And when he pulled out the silver dollar, he took the time and the effort to fly it back to the Smithsonian Institution to have the curators look at the coin and compare it to the dies and the ones that they had, the patterns that they had in the famous numismatic collection. They discovered that looking at both these pieces side by side, that this may have been the very first coin struck after the pattern piece, if not certainly within the first three or four. Great news. And PCGS recognized the specialty of this by grading it a specimen proof 66. Magnificent piece and great for the industry. Mike, so congratulations on selling the 1794 silver dollar for a record price. Um, can you tell us about your thoughts? Were you excited when you sold the coin? Uh, let us know, what, what do you think? Well, I think it's great to have a coin sell for a uh, record price, especially right now with the economy. I know that we've had some fine art recently selling across the world. Um, I think it's just great that people are getting more into collectibles now and using them as an investment. Um, that's the record of all time, and I think it's wonderful. Although we were sorry to see the coin go. So what do you think as far as for the hobby, for the coins? Do you think that this was just a one time because the coin's really special, that it sold for record price? Or do you think that there'll be coins that will still set new records in the coming years? No, I think coins have continue to sell for records. Um, they've been doing it um, throughout history, and um, I think they just continue to keep trending upward. Um, we've seen coins sell at major auctions, um, and they just continue to, to appreciate it. So it's great for the industry. Well, thank you for talking to us. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Appreciate it.